afternoon, good evening students, I hope you're doing good, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another lecture concerning civilization for third year students. As you can see, it will be about the same chapter, that is, First World War. We've already seen uh, in the previous videos, of course, we've already seen um, Europe before 1914, the causes of the war, the war itself, the end of the war. Today we are going to talk about why the United States of America decided to enter the war. Of course, as usual, before I start, I invite you to like the Facebook page of this channel in order to be notified whenever I post something new and also subscribe to my channel. That would encourage me to do more and also help you out during the period of exams. So we shall start with the plan of the lecture or uh, the lesson, of course. Um, we are going to basically talk about the reasons alone. Um, it will be a, a short lecture, I, I hope, right? Um, the first reason is the German atrocities in Belgium. The second one is the economic interests, the sinking. The third one is the sinking of the famous Lusitania. The fourth one is unrestricted submarine warfare. And finally, we're going to talk about the Timmerman telegram. So... The video of today will be about discussing these five reasons. Of course, all these reasons that we're going to talk about today played a role, um, let's say, in, uh, in the fact that the Americans favored the war. Okay, But you have other reasons, of course, such as, um, let's say, the Easter Rising, the... Um, I mean the uh, uh, the uh, the weaponry or the weapons that would uh, th that were sorry the weapons that were um, forbidden internationally. So these are also minor reasons, but these, according to me, of course, are the major reasons that we need to know about why the Americans entered the war. So, without any further ado, we shall start with the first reason that is the German atrocities in Belgium. But before that, you need to know some of the background of the United States of America during the war. So, at the beginning of the war, the United States of America stayed neutral, which means USA didn't take a side, whether the, with the Allies or the Central Powers. But do not forget, you shouldn't neglect the fact that the Americans kept trading with France and also Brit Britain. So, trade did not stop between America and France and Britain. We are going to see how this also played a role um, or became a reason why the United States of America entered the war. So USA also carried a policy of isolation. I explain of course isolation if you look at the continent, the American continent is situated away from Europe. So when the war started the Americans thought that it was a European problem and the Americans, since they are away from the war, they, they shouldn't interfere uh, in the, let's say, European business. Of course, between brackets. And you have President Woodrow Wilson, who was the President of the United States of America at that time. He, he is the one who kept the Americans away from the war. This is what we call protectionism. So when we talk about protectionism, you should mention the President Woodrow Wilson, of course, and how the fact that he kept the Americans away from the war. Uh, the policy of isolation, I repeat, it's the fact that the Americans were situated away from Europe. Now, we move to the first reason, which is the German atrocities in Belgium. So, when we talk about atrocities, it means the cruel acts, the cruel acts that the Germans did in Belgium. Like I explained in the previous videos, I said that Germany invaded Belgium in order to flank France. So, Belgium at that time was a neutral country, according to the Treaty of London in 1839. So, the invasion of neutral Belgium attracted the public opinion of the Americans. You have a whole population in the United States of America that is all about freedom, liberty, you know, all these notions, and they hear that there is a country which is in a state of war, which also violated a treaty, right, and killed innocent people that weren't um, willing to fight, in, let's say, in the beginning. So, you have 
these cruel acts that were shared by the way by the press um, and they were about how the Germans treated the non-armed civilians of Belgium um, and towns being destroyed and devastation killing massive massacres so all this all these things were shared by the uh, the press do not forget we talked about propaganda and yellow journalism so we cannot know exactly whether all the news were true or they weren't this is why propaganda is something that, that was very important during that time people believed almost in anything so when the Americans heard about these atrocities they directly believed uh, believed in them of course and you should know the thing that is interesting about these atrocities is the fact most of the stories were only British propaganda the British always sought to let's say um, include the United States of America into the war in order to assure victory and this is of course um, let's say a personal point of view but you might find uh, other opinions of course so this is as far as German atrocities in Belgium are concerned now we move to the second point that is economic interests so you have American um, businessmen in general who decided to help the French and the British by let's say um, financing their war uh, of course through huge funds approximately um, three billion dollars I mean of that time so it's something huge so according to these bus businessmen and according to the Americans of course if the Allies lose the war which means if France Britain and Russia lose the war they will not be able to to repay the money that would I mean that was given by the um, the Americans and the American businessmen so this is why many Americans favored the intervention of the United States in order to assure victory and their money would come back to them this is as far as economic interest um, is concerned then we have the famous sinking of Lusitania so in May 1915 a German U-boat U-boat is the boat that you are currently seeing on the screen um, this this U-boat sank the British ship Lusitania 128 American died okay I mean these um, Americans were boarding this British ship and it was destroyed or sank by a German U-boat so the ship was carrying military equipment according to some historians and it increased this this um, the fact that the Americans started uh, dying and it was um, uh, they were killed by the Germans it increased the anti-German feeling in America they started resenting the Germans in general then the um, the fourth point it's the, the unrestricted submarine warfare what do we mean by that it's the fact that Germany prevented goods from reaching Britain which means if you have a trade okay through let's say um, uh, let's say a ship for example that is transporting um, goods in order to trade with Britain maybe um, you have these German boats or battleships were destroying these ships and they were sinking passengers even uh, civilian ships were being sunk by the Germans and also these Germans kept promising to stop such acts during the during the war but they always violated those promises so here the feeling uh, or the anti-german feeling started to increase more and more and more and to discuss the final point that is very important uh, I mean um, for the Americans at least uh, in 1917 author or Arthur Timmerman he is the um, German foreign minister he sent a telegram to Mexico suggesting that if the United States should declare war on Germany 
Mexico should declare war on the United States in return. Mexico would get back the territory lost in the Mexico-American War. Um, as I, uh, I mean, I've already done videos about the annexation of the land. Okay, after the American Civil War and all, um, the Americans started moving westwards, and they were taking lands. They were basically annexing, like they say. Some of those lands belonged to Mexico in the past. So, taken by the Americans by force, of course. There was a war between we call it the um, uh, the America the Mexico American War, and Mexico actually lost the war and many many territories were taken by the Americans such as Texas, New Mexico and Arizona for example they were taken by the Americans by force so the Germans told them or this German foreign minister told Mexico um, if the United States of America declares war on Germany Mexico should declare war on the United States of America and in return these lands that were taken by force by the Americans in the past, they are going to be given back to the Mexican people. Unfortunately, for Germany, the telegram was intercepted by the British and both the American, of course, and hurriedly given to the Americans. Although Mexico had no real intention of declaring war on the United States, the publication of the letter further mobilized the American people against the Central Powers. Now, you have the United States of America declared war in 1917, and it played a major role in ending the war, of course. Um, I mean, a year later, the war was finished. So, of course, the Allies won the war, like I said in the previous video. And that would be it for today's lecture concerning the reasons why the United States of America entered the war. Now, if you have any kind of question, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, message me on the Facebook page. I will answer you, of course, as soon as I see your message. Share the channel with your friends, with your classmates. Maybe they will benefit from it, of course. And I tell you, see you in the next video. Peace.